Hello, my name is Adrian Eliasha bin Zalagba, and today I'll be presenting about the theory behind the crystallization of sodium chloride and I'll be providing a demonstration on how we can make these simple crystals at home. The structure of sodium chloride, or commonly known as table salt, is a perfect example of an ionic crystal lattice. It's made up of sodium and chloride ions which are held together by strong electrostatic forces. The lattice structure of sodium chloride has a cubic arrangement called the face-centered cubic FCC structure. The bonds in sodium chloride are ionic bonds formed when sodium donates an electron to chlorine. This results in a strong, rigid and stable structure which explains why salt crystals are hard and brittle. The crystallization of sodium chloride can be explained in these four steps. Starting with this solution, when salt is added to water, it dissolves into its constituent ions. So, how it works is that water molecules are polar, meaning they have a partial positive charge on the hydrogen side and a partial negative charge on the oxygen side. These polar water molecules surround the sodium and chloride ions, breaking the ionic bonds and pulling the ions into the solution. This results in the salt disappearing as it becomes a homogeneous solution. Next is saturation. As more salt is added to water, the solution becomes saturated or at least approaches saturation. A saturated solution is one where the water cannot dissolve any more salt because it has reached its maximum capacity to hold dissolved ions at a given temperature. The excess salt will remain undissolved at the bottom of the container, indicating the solution is fully saturated. Moving on, we have evaporation. When the water begins to evaporate, the volume of the solution decreases and the concentration of dissolved sodium and chloride ion increases. So, as water molecule escapes into the air, the remaining solution becomes supersaturated, and now there are more dissolved salt than the water can hold in its liquid state. Lastly, we have the recrystallization. In a supersaturated solution, the excess sodium and chloride ion begins to come out of the solution and bond together to form solid crystals. These ions arrange themselves into a highly ordered repeating lattice structure. This arrangement minimizes energy and creates the characteristic cubic shape of sodium chloride crystals. Crystallization of sodium chloride is a fascinating interplay between chemistry and physics, demonstrating how changes in solubility, concentration, and evaporation drive the formation of solid crystals from a liquid solution. This process is not only beautiful, but also an essential principle in science and industry. Now, moving on from the theory part of the crystallization, I will now be demonstrating on how we can make these sodium chloride crystals at home with only a few and simple easy steps. So, ever wondered how to make your own salt crystals at home? It's much easier than you think, and the results are beautiful. So, here are a couple of things that you need. One, a beaker iodized salt or table salt, a spoon for stirring, hot water, and also a petri dish for the placement of our solution later. We start off by pouring some hot water into our beaker. An approximate amount of 200 milliliters was poured here. Now, we start adding salt into the hot water. Take a spoonful of salt and add it into the hot water and start stirring it until it dissolves. So, as we can see, the salt has already dissolved into the hot water. From here, we can keep adding in more salt and continue stirring. Finally, after adding and stirring salt into the hot water, we ended up with a saturated solution. As we can see, the salt has stopped dissolving and is at the bottom of the container. Now, take the solution and pour it into our petri dish. Ideally, a thin layer would be better as the evaporation would occur faster but that would depend on you, on how much you would like to put. Now, all that's left to do is to put the petri dish aside and wait for approximately 3 to 5 days, or maybe a week. 
So after about a week, these are the results that I have obtained. As you can see, I have done multiple batches and it is advised to do so as the results are random. So having more containers also means a higher chance of producing these crystals. As you can see, some of the crystals are smaller than the others, some are bigger than the others. So although the crystals are small, as you can see from this small crystal as I try to focus my camera on it, it has a perfect cubic structure. This one is also another perfect cubic structure which I have obtained which is slightly bigger, approximately 0.5 cm. And that's it, your very own salt crystal experiment, using simple ingredients and a little bit of patience. Here are some of the photos from my results and hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.